So this is a demo of a neat feature on System D uh, called System D Analyze. It's a fairly basic command, but it's got very powerful functionality when you're trying to run down um, reasons uh, for delays in your boot. So if your if your boot process is slowing down. Um, or it seems to hang up at a certain point and you don't know where, uh, System D Analyze is a very good tool for that. So I'll just uh, show you um, two of the subcommands for Analyze. Uh, one is Blame. If you do that, um, you can see that it goes through all of the System D units and sorts them um, in uh, decreasing order of time that it took to complete them. So you can see that on my system, I've got system decrypt set up. That's basically during the boot process so when it was acting, asking for my um, disk encryption password. So it took me 10 seconds to type it in. Um, and it is the single largest delay in my boot process. Um, another neat command is the system D uh, plot command. If you uh, redirect this to a file, say plot.html, and then you bring up that file. Um, people familiar with boot chart, this will look a lot like boot chart, although it's a lot simpler to do than boot chart is. Um, and it's just an integrated part of system D. Um, so you can see here all of this uh, units that start up when your system boots and how long they take to uh, fully initialize. So the, the darker red is the process was actually starting up and then the um, lighter red, the, the pinker area, is the surface is up and running. It's a daemon, but um, it, it's, it is started by that point. So if I scroll down here, you can see um, no problems really until right here the crypt setup. And you can see that it, it takes a really long time because it took me that long to type in my password apparently. Um, and then you can see here that it completes at this point. If I scroll down, you can see all the units that were waiting on me to enter in my password before they could start up. And so you see them all going down all the way till you get to uh, the graphical target here. And then uh, if you go up to the top, it gives you some nice summary information about how long it took to load the kernel, the initial RAM file system, and then how long it took to reach user space and the total boot time. So um, some pretty neat features from System D.